is Shycoth, and welcome to another Minecraft video. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing the new 1.9 uh, update, and yeah, so I have a world that I built some stuff on already, and um, I need to do, build a couple more things in in the video, so, whoa, whoa no, you can't, you can't see that, uh, but yeah, so we're going to be, where is my, oh, there we go, so we're going to be showing you guys the new 1.9 stuff, um, I read up on some of the um, new stuff that they added, so I hopefully will know what I'm doing here. So, all right, first things first. Um, I, need, I need to clear my inventory. No, I don't. Just keep stuff in my inventory. Uh, here's my nice, my ver very nice house right here. Burning zombies. Um, I'll do the inside stuff after I do the outside stuff. So. Um, I built a nice little farm down here, and then over here, the first new thing that we're going to be checking out is um, beet roots. So I have some growing here. This is what they look like when they're fully grown, I think. So, oops, I'm on creative. Oops. Hang on, let me do this. <laughs> Survival. No, whoops. Game mode. I can't, I never can't remember if it's like game mode 3 or 2, so I just always type in survival. Alright, so, whoa, lag. Um, so I have a very nice farm here. Potatoes, carrots, or carrots, potatoes. I think it's carrots, potatoes. Wheat and beetroots. So, but this is the main thing we're going to be checking out here. It's the beetroots. So when you break it, you get two, well, in between probably like three and one beet, beetroot seeds, but. Uh, yeah, so you get those, and then you get the beetroot, which can be made into beetroot soup, which I'm going to have to go back on to creative. I should have just told you guys what it was going to drop, because there's no point in having to type this all in again. It's game mode one, though. I know that. So, what we're going to do with this is we're going to take it back over to our crafting table. Um, I actually don't have a crafting table, so I'm just going to make one, which can be found... Where? So, there we go. Um, Alright, so what we can do with this is I believe if we just take a bowl in our beetroot, just put, whoa, it can be made into red dye. We need something else. What, what else? What, what else do we need? How do you craft this? <laughs> do you need, like, the seeds also? That would be weird. Or maybe you need like milk or something. What do you need? I just figured that all you had to do is just put it in a crafting table, but maybe not. Does it have to be arranged in some weird like? Oh, oh, I know what it is. Hang on, hang on. I can do this. I can do this. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, seven. All right, there we go. Now. Nope, that's not it. Okay, I don't know how to craft that, so, um, sorry about that. But you can make eat root soup somehow. <laughs> um, uh, anyways, so, next thing is, banners are awesome. Um, did I put anything up here? I can't, can't remember what I did. Okay, um, just check the stuff in the creative then, because I don't, I don't know, failing really hard right now. So, there's frosted over blocks. I know that, um, but they don't seem to be in the crafting menu. Oh, no, that's packed ice. What are frosted over blocks? What? Oh, okay, okay, wait. Here, I have, I have, I have an idea. So, I'm show you guys one of the new things also while I'm doing this. So, need a shovel. Alright, so, first with grass, you can make it this, like, uh, this, uh, what's it called? It's called, I think it's called, like, path grass or something like that. Uh, basically, it looks, it's supposed to look like you've walked on it a lot, um, and stuff. So, yeah, there's that. And then, I don't know how to make this frosted over block. I don't know how to do that. Oh, well. Um... You guys will be able to find some of this stuff out anyways if you just check the 
new stuff spot. So this is a new thing right here. It's called a... where is it, where is it, where is it? It's called an end rod. Uh, it's basically like a torch, but it acts like a block, so you can't like jump, jump like through it. Which, like, if I check right here, you can't jump through it. So, and here's two new things right here. So, three new things. So you have, of course, you know, the end stone brick. You have the Ender Dragon head, which I think you get from when you when you kill the Ender Dragon. Maybe I'm not for sure because I don't know how to get to the end in this 1.9. So, uh, and then the other thing is these new plant things. Um, why is that one different? These are called uh, Taurus plants, I guess. Um, uh, and this is what they look like. Uh, in the end, they grow like these big, crazy, like, like cactus-looking things. But um, I didn't have enough room to build it like that here. So there's those. When you break them, you get nothing there. You get this popped tourist fruit. Um, when you, I think when you, mm, there's two of them. One of them, when you eat it, it teleports you to a random, like, random spot. So you don't want to eat that in the end, because it'll just, like, go flying off the edge. Um, I think it's just the regular tourist fruit. A popped tourist fruit can be used for something. I don't, I'm, I don't know what it is. So, oh, here's something new. Wait, did they, did they add, like, hunger potions? No, they didn't. I wish they did, but, anyways, I'm gonna go back up to the surface here. Oh, one other thing with the Ender Dragon head, you can wear it. And it looks really ridiculous when you're wearing it. Apparently when you move, the mouth moves also. So, yeah, it just, it just looks stupid, so I'm gonna take it off. Um, alright, so, now we gotta go back up to the surface. Whoa, okay. Maybe. We might be able to go back up to the surface. Why? Why can't I? Hello? Oh, I can go this way. Alright. So, what we have to do now is... I think that's all the new block. No, it's not. Okay, we're going to check out the new blocks here. So, these are called... Purper blocks, I guess is how you would pronounce that. It's kind of stupid, but... So, they, here's what they look like. You have a uh, purper block, purper pillar purple stairs and purple slab. So these can be found in the end. Um, I don't believe there's any way to craft them. Maybe that's what the popped tourist fruit is used to make, but you have to go to the end anyway. So as far as I know, you can't craft them. So, but these are, that's what they look like. Um, something else. Mm, no, wait, we'll check that out in a minute. So these come in, no, there's like these temple type things in the end. Uh, the chorus fruit is growing like all around the sides of it and stuff and then it's made out of this. So, like big tall buildings. Um, and then you'll see something else that's in that in just a minute. So I think that's all the new blocks. Maybe. Hopefully. Uh, and, all right, and then in the decorations, checked out the end draw, checked out that. Oh yes, there's this. All right, so we need some bedrock to do this. There is a way to, like, respawn the Ender Dragon. I'm not 100% sure how to do it yet either because I haven't been able to get to the end. But you can, it has something to do with making these again. Um, and so when you make it, this is what you get. You don't need, whoops. Yeah, that's what happens. Uh, you don't need all of this. That's just how I like to build it. You can just do it on one. Um, but if you try to break the block, oops. See, if you, it has a hitbox. It's like crazy. It's like huge. Um, you can make it just float. That's awesome. All right, we're just we're making it float now. Um, so that's what that does right there. Not really very interesting, but it has something to do with re recreating the Ender Dragon. Then you can break that and it blows everything up. It kind of acts like a bed in the nether, except for there's no flames. Um, one quick thing, though, before we move on to the next thing, is what this path 
dirt would work for um, is kind of like if you wanted to make a path from your house to like the temp like a desert temple or something. Not a desert temple because that wouldn't work. Just do it like you would do it like this and it kind of looks cool. Um, and you just make like a path or something. I don't know if it uses durability on your sh shovel. I don't think it does because like that would just kind of be lame. Um, but yeah, so the next thing that we're going to show you guys is not in redstone. Going by the, the tabs here to just to see. So yeah, this is a new thing. So you have oak, you have all these different kind of boats. Oak boat, spruce boat, birch boat, jungle boat, acacia boat. Um, I'm going to take a couple of these because I kind of want to see how they look. Um, just these ones. And then we have to find ourselves a fairly big body of water over here. Going straight for a river. <laughs> um, Alright, so this is what they look like now. They have shovels in them. Um, they can also hold two players. Um, I don't know if I can show the different spots. No, I can't. Okay, well... It fits two people, I think. Pretty sure. Um, so that's what the acacia one looks like. That's what the birch one looks like. And this is what the dark oak one looks like. Um, I prefer... Ooh, well, I don't know which one. No, this one. This one. So, it looks like it's not as hard as it was on the... Whoa! On the pocket edition. Um, because that was extremely hard. But you don't break when you... How do you turn? Oh, like that. It's really easy. Um, you don't turn with, like, looking anymore, but that's kind of cool. So, once you get a hang of the controls, it's actually pretty easy, and it's also very fast. Um, that's something I like. Um, and, but it's not really hard, like, where you have to, like, press different buttons to do different things. It's, this is just what it is. I wonder if there's an arm animation. No. <laughs> so... You can see where the second person would sit, right behind me. Can't turn my head all the way around, but they would sit right behind me. Um, you know, right, like right there. And yeah, so boats are really awesome. I actually haven't tested these out yet, but if you watch, if I go full speed, smacking into this wall over here, full speed, don't break. So they're not, like, ever going to break, unless, you know, like... You, Maybe if you jump off a cliff or something in your boat, you might break it, but I don't know. So, uh, I wonder if these, I can't do that. <laughs> I was going to say, I wonder if there's like beet roots in them, uh, in those places anymore. So, anyways, what we're going to be doing now is wings. So, they work as a chest plate, so sadly you can't have wings and chest plate, but I'm not complaining. So, um... They're not, you can't really fly with them unless you do it a certain way. So I'm going to try this. Um, I'm not very good at it, but, oops, I bounced. Okay, i got to go up a little higher. So what you really want to do to use these is go on an amplified world and then just like jump off any hill because um, that would be awesome. So uh, I might try to do that at the end, but my computer might not be able to handle that. So I don't know. So here we go. Ready? Alright, so you if if you look up, you can glide, and I've seen videos of people who can actually, like, pretty much fly, like, very long distances with it, but they're on Amplified Worlds and stuff, so it's pretty nice, actually, and then you land softly in a puddle of water. Um, they changed, oh, I thought they, that's cool, if you go like this, if, if I fly up and then I go like that, no, wait, I gotta do this right, because I just was doing it a second ago. It kind of looks like you're actually swimming, like, very slowly, but you're actually swimming. That's cool. Um, alright, we had to make our way back to the house. So, wings, they're awesome. Um, I don't know how to pronounce, you know, like, yeah, I'm not even going to try to pronounce what they're called, so. Yeah, just, you, you know, all they are is wings, so. Uh, how you get them, I don't know. I think you have to kill the Ender Dragon or something to get them. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. But they're pretty darn cool. I like these. Um, alright. So, what's next? Not that. 
Now, new mob, and that's it in that file. So, this new mob is going to spawn in the end on those temple things I was talking about. Um, I'm going to have to turn my, mm, wait just a second, slash time set day. I'm going to have to change myself back. Uh, no, there's still creepers. I'm going to have to change myself uh, into survival to actually show you guys how this mob works, because it's kind of... There's no point in showing you it if it doesn't kill me. So, well, I'm lagging. All right, so it's called a shulker or something. If you place it, this is what it looks like. Uh, it just looks like a normal one of those purple blocks. Um, I believe not very different from a purple block, but you saw it kind of looked up, and there's something in there. All right, so if I do slash game mode three nope that's spectator mode oh something in spectator mode what it oh yeah i'm living the life of a sheep now um <laughs> wait i want to live the life of this oh it's so boring oops how do you get out of it i can't i want it oh there we go Ooh, just saw its face that was creepy because i'm on spectator mode i can go inside of it and look at it um anyways <laughs> Game mode. Just gonna have to type it in. Viral. So you see, it shoots that thing at me, and it oh, it followed me. So didn't look like it did too much. Yet. Whoa! Oh yeah, yeah. I remember this. So basically, I'm just gonna keep. I'm gonna just keep floating up until basically this thing wears off in like eight minutes I mean eight seconds six seconds and I'm just gonna plummet to my death and die so it's gonna be very sad um yeah and you're gonna see what it boom all right so I should respawn down here yeah it's not something you want to mess with because you usually die but what you can do is you can move around while you're doing that so usually when well unless you spawn it in the overworld you're gonna get it in the end and it's gonna be on a structure usually on like the side of a structure like this um like that and then it's gonna shoot it out at you and you're gonna die oh yeah i forgot it has health it's not just a block um so bows would be very nice to fight this with because like just bows are awesome um and you could like really kill one and you can also, because while you're floating up, you can kill it. But, um, while you're floating up, you'll be able to make it to the top of the structure, probably, and not die. But, you know, risks. So, uh, I think I'm going to have to end this here, um, because we're kind of running out of time and stuff. So, I'll do, in the next video, we'll be doing some new armor stuff. Um, you probably saw some of this. Potions, enchantments, and food and stuff. Uh, we'll be doing some of that, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like on the video, and if you didn't, then, then that, just leave a like on the video. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye!